Parijan may need those prints. Heather said that he wants to use them to illustrate an upcoming story about modern fabrics. What's your opinion of Minette's assistant, Heather McKay? Heather's a bright girl. Her crush on me is unfortunate, but I can handle it. Oh, I see what her errand was now. She has a crush on you? It's obvious to me that she does. Dealing with models the way I do day in and day out, I've gotten pretty good at knowing what women are thinking and feeling. You, you probably think you do, buddy, but I can assure you, you do not. I mean, we could ask him this, but he'd probably be like, oh yeah, every woman, every woman who meets me has a crush on me. Yeah, I'm just so hot. <laughs> I can tell you have a crush on me too, Nancy. No, no, sir. He just has like an inflated ego. Like you really think a woman would come up to you in your heckin' blue suede blazer and go, oh... He's the most beautiful man I ever seen. He's so irresistible that blue blazer just gets me hot and bothered. No, no, no. Does Heather know that you know? I've said nothing to her because although there is no chance that I will ever reciprocate her feelings, I see no point in hurting her. Let her have her crush. Eventually she will set her heart on someone else and I will be oh, forgotten. How magnanimous of you. I better go. Adios. Adios, that's not German. <laughs> okay, I intended to go see JJ, but I completely forgot what location she was at, and I gambled, and I lost. So we're meeting jean me now. Excusez-moi, mais êtes-vous Monsieur Traquenard? Please, in English. I do not wish to hear my native tongue butchered while I eat. As for my name, pff, not Traquenard. It is Jean-Michel Traquenard. Jean-Michel Traquenard. Traquenard! 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 Enough! <laughs> Nancy, it's simple, you, just don't pronounce the D! Drew. <laughs> Nancy Drew. Nancy I've can't let go of the D. Minette, as an assistant. Oh? What uh, happened to Ezer? Ezer? Ezer. Ezer Mickey. Ezer Mickey. Hmm? Oh, Heather McKay. No, Heather still works for Manette. I'm kind of working for both of them. Our Lady of the Mask has fired three assistants in the past Jeez. five months. <laughs> I hope you are not next. In fact, that Ezer has managed to avoid the axe for this long is uh, truly... That's what I'm problem. saying! Here, I'm supposed to give these photos to you. They came straight from Dieter von Schwesterkronk's darkroom. I printed them up myself. You are quite a doué as a photo developer. Bravo for you, Nancy Drew. Merci. I was afraid Ezer had forgotten. So, you had the pleasure of meeting Herr von Schwesterkrank, eh? No one likes each other in this game. It sounds like you don't like him. Not like Dieter? That's impossible. Dieter is a very uh, enterprising young man, which in most cases is good, but when arrogance enters the picture, pfft. So, do you uh, like Ezer hope to leave your mark on the world of couture? No, <laughs> I don't think that's, I don't think that's one of Nancy's goals. That's what you mean. Then you are an intelligent young lady, Nancy. In the world of couture, a single Nancy doesn't seem to care much about fashion, judging by her own fashion. Such a dress can be worth a fortune in publicity, which makes She's not really out here to, you know, change the fashion world. A doggy dog world. Bad things can and do happen to good people. You must order something. I insist. <gasps> Look out, yes, si please. Play. I love oh, ordering really food in video games Mademoiselle. so much. Thank you. I mean, merci. Order anything you want. Okay. Everything here is superb. And Henri, he is the best waiter in all of France. Well, in that case... Well, obviously, we have to go for the most expensive item on the menu because... He's paying. The quiz de Grenouille. D'accord. The Grenouille. <laughs> Merci. Let's see Henri. what the Grenouille edition, is. Certainement. Uh oh, this looks like mm. frog legs. A brave but wise choice. I would try I frog mean, legs. Are they served with like if zucchini? You say so. mm. Oh, Nancy mm. ate up those frog I'm glad legs. I ordered that. It was great. Excusez -moi, mademoiselle. Nancy's gonna go home and be eyeing up all so, the frogs in River from? Heights going like, hmm, those frogs would look really good fried in bread crumbs on a plate. <laughs> She's gonna be out at the river in River Heights 
snatching frogs with her bare hands to bring home and eat. Do you have any idea why Minette wears that mask? I believe she is the victim of botched plastic surgery. Isn't Minette a little young to be undergoing plastic surgery? That remark... Well, I would I would say it hasn't aged well. It's just that a lot of people getting plastic surgery these days are young people, which is unfortunate. Do you have proof? But I guess no, at this time it was an oddity. Exist, Some women with noses that would put birds of prey to shame are perfectly content with their appearance, while others with acceptable features are convinced they are more hideous than Frankenstein. Self-image. It can make people do strange things. This man has quite a nerve to be casting shade on people with noses that would put birds of prey to shame. Have you ever looked in the mirror, sir? Like, I'm not saying his nose is anything special. Like, his nose looks like a normal nose. But, like, the complete picture, he looks like kind of like a squished shorty is shorty was born in france maybe he is that maybe they did just use the same character model for shorty and squished his eyes up a bit he looks like he's squinting a lot that's my new conspiracy they they based his character model off shorty if you had to name minette's worst enemy who would that be ugo batelli was ugo not only do he and minette have similar design styles so that they are constantly competing for the same couture clients but both of them are unthinking, socially inept egoists. It is a rare week that goes by without one of them insulting the other. Has it ever gone beyond words? Not to my knowledge. You ask very curious questions, Mademoiselle Drew. They make me think you know more than you are saying. And as a member of the press, I'm not sure that I like that. Oh, he's dangerously perceptive. How can I contact this Hugo Butterly person? His phone number is right here in my digital assistant. Ooh, his digital course, assistant. It's extremely unlikely that you will be able to talk to him in person. Even I, I wonder if I can call any of these other people. The and Lucy or Pace Carol. So, what else do you wish from me? I Nothing. better get going. A tout à l'heure. To you too, sir. I feel like I should be wearing a beret but right now. And in fact, I looked for one because I have two of them. And I couldn't find either of them before I started filming. So I'm sorry that I'm such a disappointment. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself too, believe me. Mm. Oh, what a nice apartment. <gasps> Hello. Come in, come in, set your things down and come on over here. Hi. My JJ favorite Lynn. character in the I game. I your hand, but I get flour all over you. Oh, and Heather called and told me about your luggage. No worries. I have plenty of clothes in every size imaginable. Why did she have clothes in different sizes? That's so weird. Told me it was gone for good and paid me a hundred dollars. Then five years later, my suitcase shows up on my doorstep, and a bill for the hundred dollars they'd paid me, plus interest. Whoa! Oh my gosh, really? What? You don't believe me? Actually, no. Ooh, you're honest. You're smart. You and I are gonna get along great, Nancy Drew. You were right not to believe me. I made it up. See, <gasps> to be a good model, you kind of have to be a good actress, too. So sometimes I make things up, you know, just for practice. Just to see if I can get people to believe me. This woman is unhinged, and I love it. <laughs> like, the first conversation we have, she makes up this, like, random story for, like, no reason. So now I know I can't trust anything, she says. You were pretty believable. I've got some people convinced that I won the lottery and am actually a millionaire. It's kind of fun. You like chocolate so chip cookies? she's not making that much as a model, okay. I love chocolate chip cookies. So do I. She's and not a nice supermodel. She's just an ordinary I'm about three model. Three pounds shy of being the perfect size twelve that I need to be for Minette. I have a very high metabolism, so I make cookies. I eat cookies, and since you're here, I share cookies. Why does Minette want you to be a size twelve? Contractually, I have to be a size twelve. See, Minette is into curves, so she designs clothes for full-figured curvy women. Because I signed on to be a fitting model, I have to maintain the ideal size 12 weight and shape. I want cookies so bad now. What's a fitting model? A fitting model puts on samples from a designer's latest line, so the designer can create each piece on a real live person instead of a dress form. It's not very exciting. In fact, it's totally boring. Plus, you're always getting stabbed with pins. But it pays the bills. 
It's a living. Does anyone else live here? Nope. It's just me. And you now. Managed to get a short-term lease. Soon as I'm done being Minette's fitting model, I am out of here. Why? This is such a nice place. Can you think of anyone who might be out to get Minette? Well, Dieter, obviously. Dieter von Schwesterkrank? He and Minette went out for about six months. Juicy! Juicy! April, Just tossed him aside like last month's edition of Vogue. Do you know why she broke it off? That's an underrated no line. Idea. Tossed him aside oh, like last month's issue of Vogue. To do with the fact that Dieter lets his pet boa constrictor run loose in that photographic studio of his. No, no, you know what? I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out, JJ. This is another one of your little stories. He has a pet boa constrictor? That's what I said. Don't you believe me? <laughs> nice try, JJ. This time I'm telling the truth. Dieter really does no, he does. Well, unless studio. it's him. He's the snake. Knows about it. I think it may be illegal. If you happen to be in there, be careful. This is so weird because I really do think she's making it up. Like, we never see a snake or any evidence of a snake in Dieter's studio that I can recall. Is she lying about not lying? Like, what? 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 I'm, I'm thoroughly confused. Heather wants me to pick up an envelope from you oh yeah it's right over there heather needed a bunch of personal information so they can pay me but i refuse to give it out over the phone i'm real paranoid about that sort of stuff so she decided to write it down and take it to her. where anyone could get a hold of it and find out all her personal information sure great call jj guess i'll be running along ciao bella why does everyone here insist in speaking in languages other than french it's kind of weird. Paris, according to Zoo, he goes into the catacombs. He spelunks. He catacombs. This is such a nice apartment. Oh, man. Okay, what day is it today? Tuesday, August 28th. Grower discontent results in mint shortage. Local mint growers, unhappy with the fact that mint prices have fallen to 15 a kilogram, are attempting to drive prices back up by withholding and sometimes destroying their harvests. As a result, fresh mint is in short supply in Paris, and both professional and amateur chefs alike have taken notice. Not surprisingly, a black market for mint sprang up almost as soon as supplies started to dwindle. Enterprising vendors do a thriving business in local parks and on street corners, sometimes charging five euros for a single sprig. The rack of lamb is a disaster without my signature mint sauce, lamented Christophe Parmeline, head chef at Le Ver Buffle Bistro. Is that like green buffalo or something? What's buffle? I obviously need to take more years of French. Who has been forced to cook, forced at gunpoint, forced to cook without mint for the last four days. Oh no. What is buffle? It is buffalo! I'm a genius! I'm so good at French. I added a pinch of mint to everything, echoed Suzette Le Mere, Mere, a homemaker who has been unable to buy the herb for weeks. At least I used to. <laughs> Nothing I cook tastes good anymore. It's terrible! While they are hoping their strike will put pressure on their largest customers, the co companies that produce mint oil, mint growers, have little sympathy for people like Parmeline and Le Mere. Consumers have taken mint for granted long enough, said a grower who refused to give his name. It's high time that changed. I love it. I love it. I love all the drama over mint. Inflation, a concern. As prices rise, that's too real. That hits too close to home right now. She's literally living the dream. Like, JJ, if you're gonna leave, can I take your apartment? It's so dreamy. It's so light and airy, and I love all the plants. I'd probably kill them really quick, though. But it's just so nice. I'm not sure about these weird faux Greek columns, though. They're a bit cheesy. Oh my god. Every day I wake up and I have to answer the phone! Lucy, get the phone. Oh. Bonjour, Minette's House of Design. Bonjour, est-ce que c'est Heather? Uh, would you like to speak with Heather? All I want is for someone there to tell me how the ensemble I'm paying Minette coming along which is almost a us, you know i'm getting a tad antsy i understand and your name is prudence rutherford prudence rutherford oh shoot i know you i talked to you when i was working at the beach hill museum in washington dc i'm nancy drew remember 
You sent me a copy of your fire ruby necklace. You know, the one that had been stolen. Oh, good heavens, yes, of course. Nancy of course! Knew. Why, as I understand it, there was Oh, I love Prudence Rutherford. Was, She's so iconic. Soon thereafter. What on earth is a nascent detective like you doing answering the telephone for Minette? Get down from there. Excuse me, dear. Nancy, tell her the designs are done and will be shipped to her by the end of the week. Then go to the work table and finish them. You want me to finish them? The instructions are all right there. Piece of cake. Prudence Rutherford is getting scammed. She thinks she's getting a Minette original. She's getting a Nancy original. Oh dear. Thanks to that scallywag, I've quite forgotten what we were talking about. Prudence Rutherford and her husband are like very... She's Barbie, he's just Ken vibes. I forget too, but the important thing is, I'm going to ship you some designs very shortly. Oh, goody, 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 goody. <laughs> You should have them by the end of the week. Wonderful. I'm sure they're going to knock my socks off and blow me away, as you young people like to say. Yeah, we young people like to say in 1952. God, Prudence, it's 2006. Wake up and smell the axe body spray. Okay, let's do let's do designs for Prudence. Are the Prudence. designs I'm supposed to finish for Prudence Rutherford under here? You got it. Sunny, I've selected the clothing and accessories for Prudence Rutherford for but forgot about her rules for each season's outfits. Please read through them and assemble the correct outfit. Start with summer and then move on to cruise and then fall season. The outfit should include something for the head, face, bottom, top, feet, and an accessory to hold. Wait, she said winter's coming up and yet none of these outfits are for winter. Prudence firmly believes that patterns or prints not be considered as colors for her rules. When you've correctly assembled an outfit, Heather will tell you right away. If she ignores you, you didn't make it right. You're not even worth licking the very boots of Prudence Rutherford. I want to describe some of the more interesting items to design for your personal collection. I realize that you have very strict rules on your styles, but also wanted to give you a wide assortment of clothing and accessories, which I feel will complement your personality. One of a kind Prado pineapple purse will add a spash of exotica, or perhaps erotica, I don't have my glasses on, to your ensemble. I personally oversaw the coloration of these faux leather pants to complement your skin color. I recommend using primary colors, red, blue, and green, for the majority of your ensemble. Faux leather pants? How old is Prudence Rutherford? These green galoshes are the perfect rain gear for a classy lady on the go. This is so, so you, Brew. Covered in authentic Himalayan yak hair. I know how much you enjoyed the punk rock era. Here's your chance to return. That says punk rock to you? That is punk rock? No, I'm not punk rock myself, but I don't think so. These faux leather footwear were handcrafted at the infamous Shadow Ranch. Hell, oh my god, those boots are incredible. Horse face cowboy boots. So good. I added the yellow knee-ups for the popular schoolgirl look. I think Prudence Rutherford is like 104 years old. Should she be going for the schoolgirl look? I mean, I do appreciate that she's not letting her age restrict her style. That she's still out here wearing leather pants. I cultivated the furry covering from my pet Angora, who sheds like crazy. The feather on top gives it a sense of whimsy. I always believe a lady isn't a lady without a boa. I guess I'm not a lady. I've, I've never owned a boa. I'm, I'm very disappointed myself. A lovely floral print will highlight your interest in gardening. This classy purse is 100% smooth plastic. That doesn't make it sound good. That doesn't really seem like a good quality. To la rage with young people. Elf shoes are on the gum bag. Yeah. Uh, elf shoes. All the young people are wearing those these days. Go disco. Mix and match as you please with these scrumptious flares. First thing I need to do is flip up this plastic sheet. I love this puzzle. Okay, summer is my least favorite season, but one must look smashing at all times. In these dog days, I can be sporty, tranquil, domestic, capricious, and professional. So please remember the following for my outfit design. Yes, today I'm feeling very domestic and capricious. I need chromatic consistency. Three pieces of clothing must be the same color. No purses. Nothing white, 
blonde or yellow? Give me color and radiance. Yellow is a color, Prudence. I want my feet to be furry. I've maintained my youthful looks all these years and I need at least some sort of sun protection on my body. No patterns and no leather. Rain gear would be completely inappropriate. To reflect the arboreal growth, I need green on my legs and head. These are very specific. I'm actually going to write these down so I don't need to keep referring to the card. I feel like this gives us an insight into what kind of person Prudence Rutherford is as well. By which I mean iconic queen. Which are the ones that are supposed to be leather? It's not very obvious to tell. They're the ones that's supposed to complement her skin color. Are these the leather pants? These red ones? Well, no matter, because we need green on her legs and her head. We need the hat that has a touch of whimsy with the feather. Needs three pieces that are the same color, so maybe we do the elf shoes. Oh no, furry feet. We need furry feet. Is this considered sun protection? Maybe the umbrella for sun protection or the sunglasses for sun protection. So what top? Maybe pink top? I feel like I'm close. This looks familiar. No rain gear, so definitely not the umbrella, so it's gotta be the boa. No purses. Three pieces the same color. So, the bunny mask. What have I done wrong? There's no sun protection now, I guess. Oh, <gasps> no, she needs these! Those Good are the furry job. feet. Prudence Rutherford is going to look absolutely iconic in that look. My crew's wear must speak to my aura and challenge the boring and pretentious mindsets one often encounters in the arbitrary but necessary meetings of my peers. No skirts. I want to show as much skin as possible. Prudence! What kind of meetings of your peers are you talking about? Must not any include any clothing or accessories for my summer outfit. No jeans. My head and face must be consistently themed. No primary colors are yellow. To reflect my environment, I need one item that's tropical, nothing black. Head and face need to be consistently themed. Or the white, no, that's less skin. We want more skin, more skin. What have I done wrong? Good job. It had to be the white furry booties. I guess it makes sense, it matches her top. Imagine going on a cruise and encountering someone dressed like this, a 104 year old woman dressed like this. I would think I was about to be murdered, to be quite honest. For my fall ensemble, I want something dashing but a bit reserved. Something funky but not upstaging. If my outfit contains something black, it would also contain something with white. The clothing I wear as a top cannot be a single color. No red for fall. There's plenty of beautiful red in the trees. A boa would be completely inappropriate for this season. While it can be rainy in Kansas, I insist that I only have one piece of rain gear in this ensemble. Nothing sporty, no dark sunglasses, nothing with braids, no clothing or accessories that would make me think of animals or plants. Black or white is okay, but should not appear above the neckline. It is chilly in Topeka, so please, no short sleeves or short pants. Oh my goodness. She's really challenging me with this one. So clearly that is the top we need to go with. I feel like I followed her brief. No, we don't have a piece of rain gear. I think it's the accessory that's stumping me. Unless white pants. Well, <gasps> that's that. All three outfits are ready Perfect. for you to send to Prudence. Good Prudence, job. you're gonna look so good, darling. You're gonna look so good. Just the queen of Topeka. I mean, she's already that, to be fair. She's already that. What's up? Do you work for Manette because you want to be a fashion designer too? Well, I studied at Rhode Island School of Design and Central St. Martin's in London, so I kind of like to think that I already am a fashion designer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I work for Manette mostly so I can develop some contacts and get a feel for the business end of things. Have you actually designed any clothes? Have your clothes been made? Are they being worn by anyone? Has anyone bought any of your clothes? Heather, these are my questions. I'd love to see some of the things you've designed. Well, I'd love to show them to you. Show them. Heather, my oh. It was right here and now it's gone. You walked off with it again. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, it's not here. Did you check behind your ear? Oh. My portfolio can wait. If she came out and caught me showing you my designs instead of hers, yikes. I want to see her designs so bad. Like, based on this outfit of hers, I'm like, hmm. What would they look like? I'm just curious, Heather. Yeah, I'm probably not the girl to talk. I'm over here in my mom jeans and horse shirt, but that outfit, I mean, 
it's not very it's not very risky for the time heather i'll say that it's not you're not really taking any risk with it that's as polite as i can be here's that envelope i picked up from jj i almost forgot no problem oh my god if she had lost jj's personal private and confidential information i'll let you get back to work it would be okay. over if you need to talk to minette good luck She's oh, playing that no. ridiculous online uh, game she's obsessed with and refuses to do anything else until she gets the highest score. She's it a gamer. So she's a professional gamer. Okay, well, obviously I clearly know what to do. I've got to beat her at her own game. Literally. I've got to be the better gamer. James Game Portal. Do you happen portal. to know what Manette's login is? I'm afraid I have no idea. <sighs> Only those people who signed up originally can play the games. To the overwhelming popularity of the site, sure, sure, Jane. Everyone else will have to wait for my uncle to get me more storage space on this server. Who's Jane's uncle? Is it written in here? Carol and Rude. Thank you, Sonny, for being a pro hacker. You know, instead of designing games, I think Jane should be at Military Academy. Yes! I wanna play Brady Bowl! I want to play Bologna. I want to play Lulu's Loopy Lupine. I don't care much about Go to Seed, but I don't want to play Model Match. High scores. So I've got to get the high score. I guess Minette doesn't care if she doesn't get the high score personally herself, just as she's listed with the high high score. Oh, I wait. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Wait, Jane's included herself. Jane is definitely not a model. This is hard because it's in black and white. I'm struggling. I feel like I've got some face blindness going on. All right. Did I do it? Oh, thank God. I got the highest score. Or should I say Carol did? Oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> Heather, I won. I got the highest score. She's so delusional. I love it. You're a genius. I mean, no yeah, wonder Minette was struggling with that. She probably score. can't see very well behind the mask. I really admire that delusion, ah, Minette. Ah, you have some stuff for me. Let's Look, see I it. don't take my How stick, my wand, okay? Rude. The lava lamp, the rings, the canister, oh, the God. cone. You can take my magic perfect. rings, just don't take my magic adore wand. them all. I'll take care of this other junk. No! Want. Now go away, I have work to do. Did she... No, my magic wand! She threw my magic wand in the trash! Those items that you got me to buy were the trash. How dare you take my magic wand! I'm so upset. I said I have work to do. I need a task, Minette. I need a task. Heather, where is JJ? I told you she's not answering her phone. I don't want excuses. I want JJ now. Nancy, it seems that Minette has finally thought up all the designs she needs for her spring collection. But instead of putting them down on paper like a normal designer, she insists on creating What is a normal model. designer Hence really, her Heather? Desperate need for JJ. Why would Heather know why JJ isn't answering the phone? Say no more. She's I'll not psychic, Heather, is she? I don't Go like the wind. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Uh oh. Dad made me promise not to go anywhere God, by myself. You really? After you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. You're really gonna like your dad's not here, Nancy. Darn, I was on a roll. I've been getting shit done. Day two. Good morning, bon matin. Soggy Summer Bing's deluge of flooded basements. An unusually wet summer has caused water damage in a record number of homes throughout Paris and vicinity. More than 300 millimeters of rain have fallen in the area since June 1st, almost twice the average amount, res resulting in hundreds of complaints to the sewer district. There's really not much we can do, said District Director Pierre Rubin. The system can only handle so much rainwater. When our maximums are exceeded, the extra water seeps into the ground and unfortunately makes its way into people's basements. 
Insurance companies estimate that damage done by summer rains in and around Paris so far total close to a million euros. Homeowners are urged to repair any obvious cracks in their foundations immediately and to use sandbags to divert groundwater away from their houses. Also, homeowners would be wise to avoid entering a flood basement until it's absolutely certain that the electricity has been turned off. If it's any constellation to my fellow citizens, Rubin added, my basement was flooded too! <laughs> JJ, I need to tell you, Minette is probably so angry. Minette has probably had a heart attack. She's probably in the hospital right now because he didn't arrive. Oh, goody, you're back. I'm really bored. Let's play hangman. You well, you need to go that? see hey. Minette. That would solve your boredom. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Great. Okay, I'll think of a six-letter word and you try to guess what it is. Ready? Ready. A. E. That's a winner. That's a winner. R. Right you are. S. T. Oopsie. Not doing very well. Oopsie, oopsie yourself. O. That's a winner. Hmm. M. Uh-oh. P. Uh-oh. Incorrect. Oh, no. C. Sorry. D. No, what the hell is this word? G. B. What is this word? F. Okay, F. Bingo. Fro. I need to just get it. F frozen. Frozen. N. That's a winner. Z. You won. Yes. I'm a genius. I'm a hangman no, god. Anytime you want to play, just let me know. Minette needs you at her studio. In fact, she's been screaming for you, literally. Too bad. I'm not going anywhere until these mint chocolate chip cookies are finished. You have to. Minette is freaking out. Too bad. Silly me, I just said that, didn't I? Look, go to the studio. I'll finish those for you, okay? I'll do a great job, I promise. Well, I'll head over there. But I'm gonna call you before I set one foot inside Minette's studio. And if those aren't done, or if you try to lie... I never lie. Ask anyone. Well, all right. I'm an incredibly honest right person. Here. Recipe? Baking sheet? Mixing bowl, measuring cups and spoons. If anyone else tried to treat their boss like she did, they would get over, fired automatically. She's like, too bad, sink. too bad I don't feel like no, it. <laughs> too bad I'm not coming into work until I finish I making these cookies. Girl! Moldy. So you're going to have to go oh, out no. and find some more. Which could be hard because there's some kind of mint shortage thing going on. Oh, and I'm also out of brown sugar. I think there's a way to substitute for it using molasses somehow. But that's your problem now. Remember, I'm going to call you when I get to Minette's. If those cookies aren't done, I'm going to go shopping instead. And Minette's going to go bonkers. Ta-ta! JJ, why would you throw me under the bus like this? I'm innocent. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> what are books doing in here? What are what books doing in here? What in the world is JJ doing with books on electrical engineering? Well, maybe they're just in the apartment. Maybe the apartment's well, here's furnished. Some molasses. Wow, I'm impressed that Nancy knew that was molasses. Maybe she tasted it. She had a little lick. Let's venture out. Try to get ourselves a little sprig of mint. Luckily, I know the easiest way to do this, too. All I need to do is solve my craving for ice cream. Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? I'm staying with JJ Ling, the model. Do you know her? But of course. I know everyone who is anyone when it comes to fashion. And Gigi? She is a breath of fresh air. They but called her JJ, JJ just so they you could make that Gigi joke. Ling. That's no, I that's mean literally JJ. why they called her Gigi. JJ. Gigi. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> en français, you pronounce G Nancy was like stupid G American. And G like G. Stupid. She may very well be JJ in America, but in France, she is Gigi. How well does she get along with Manette? From what I hear, very well. Which is surprising when you consider all things. I assume she told you how she was tricked into a current contract with Minette. Yes, terrible thing being tricked by Tell that. me more. Of course, it was Gigi's agent to misled her, not Minette. Nevertheless, Gigi seemed very upset when I talked to her. She does not wish to be stuck in Paris for so long. As the perils of being a model, eh? How unfortunate to be stuck in Paris. A fate worse than death. I can't think of anything more horrendous. 
poor JJ, she really is someone to be pitied. What a poor, unfortunate soul stuck in Paris. Can you imagine? How awful. How Do you horrible. Think I could order something? Go right ahead. But it is no longer my treat. He's like, I don't like okay, you anymore, mommy. Nancy. <laughs> Le Capte? Please, can I have some creme de glace? May I please have the creme de glace? Oui, mademoiselle. Guy's an underpaid waiter for Ça sure. Cinq euros. That will be five euro. That's one less coin in my purse. No, it's five Ice less coins, a Nancy. Sprig of mint on top. <gasps> so refreshing. This looks good. I need to take that mint Fancy. So I can make those cookies for JJ. My mint I now. I save the mint for later. As you wish. Mm. I mean, he's probably used to eccentric people. That probably isn't that mm. weird. You're right. Mm. The food here is. Oh, this good. is making me Excuse hungry. Moi, mademoiselle. So, what else do you wish from me? We'll talk again later, okay? Au revoir, mademoiselle. I literally actually, I didn't want you. I just was there for the mint. I was using you to get the mint. I have to confess. I actually kind of love this game. I'm remembering. There are some puzzles, like especially toward the end, which are a bit kind of like total doozies. And like some where it's like you would probably never guess in a million years. I'm thinking of the squirrel pie pan puzzle, if you know what I'm talking about. But this game has vibes. I love just cruising around Paris on the metro. It's so fun. Oh, I need to know how to substitute the molasses, don't I? Isn't there like a baking book at the market that I can pick up or something? As Here you can we go. See, you have many new things to choose from. What intrigues you? Let's do a you quick do painting first, just to make Be sure we guess. don't run out of money. And I'm not gonna do the Van Gogh one, because that takes so much more time. And it it's like more time and effort for the same amount of money. Why would I do that? Here is your money. Do you wish to I'm rich! Another? May we? No! Guess. <laughs> no, I don't want to actually. I don't oh fine, I'll get more money, I guess. I suppose I'll force you into paying me more money. He's probably yes. selling these paintings now for like 15,000 euros and he's paying Nancy 15 euros. That's a scam. What's in here? She's 100% getting scammed. And you run out of an ingredient, that book tells you what you can use in its place. So if you must cook, you must have that book. Fortunately, I charge only 8 euro. 6 euros is more my speed. Vandu! Let's go! Nothing as of yet, but I suspect I'll be back looking at the items that you have for sale. Right. Let's cook! I need like a little French rat to sit on top of Nancy's head and help me out with this part. That's what I really need. Am I not ready yet? Do I need to just put my mint out? Put my mint. I'll just chop up this mint. Oh, just chop up this mint. Put my molasses down. Yeah, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start cooking. Okay, mint chocolate chip drop cookies. One cup regular sugar. Half a cup regular sugar. Plus one tisp of molasses. Oh, we forgot the three cubes of butter. Or I almost forgot the three cubes of butter. That would have been a grievous mistake. We also want three eggs. Just shell and all. It adds some added texture, a nice crunch to the cookies that you wouldn't have without that shell. It's good protein. We want one tisp of vanilla. And we want two and a quarter cups flour. Half a teaspoon baking soda. Quarter teaspoon salt. I remember this puzzle being more complicated than this, but maybe I'm thinking of the cake puzzle in Shadow Ranch where you have to do the conversions. There is nothing in that bowl. There is absolutely nothing in that bowl. Mmm, cookies. I want hmm. cookies. Must be the mint that makes their yes, definitely. Like that's that. how mint I'll just works. Cool the cookies off on this rack, and I'll be all done. Oh, <laughs> uh, I want cookies. Hello. Well, are they done? Yes, ma'am. They sure are. They sure are. Describe them. 
Describe them? Describe them? I've made them before, so I'll know you're lying if you fail to mention the one thing that makes them different from other cookies. Well, their edges curl upwards? Bingo! Nice going! Bingo, Han! is about to become a very happy camper. Yay! They got a lot of babies in this city. Who let all these babies out? Who let all these babies roam wild? Oh my god, not more phone calls. Minette's house of design. I need to speak to Minette. May I tell her who's calling? No, just get her on the phone. One moment, please. Ouch! Oh, quit whining, it's just a pin. Do not disturb Pierre de... Ne pas deranger. Deranger. I think that also means do not disturb, but in French. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry, she's busy. May I take a message? I'll just send her one. That's vaguely sinister, but I don't know if that's just my predisposed bias created by the media to mistrust all people with German accents and to think they're going to be super villains. Let's see if I've got any new tasks. Nancy, please go to Square Parrot? Square du Ver Galon and buy a stuffed parrot. One of the vendors just got some in. I do it myself, but Manette just gave me a ton of errands to run on the other side of town. You rule HM. A stuffed parrot. You know what? I'm with Minette on this one. I think everyone needs a stuffed parrot. I think stuffed parrots are very inspiring. Can we look at oh, her fashion portfolio? Not exactly my style, but cool. Honestly, I think these looks would be quite in style nowadays. Like, I can see the kids on TikTok wearing some of these looks. Like, especially this one. Heather is, like, so ahead of her time. That's, like, very, um, rave wear. I'm not sure about the active wear, though. I, I think she should give up on that. No one is gonna wear that stupid little suit that looks makes you look like you're a little baby in a onesie. No one's gonna wear that to work out. Yeah, this is- I guess it's just because modern fashion or fashion of the current moment is very inspired by the early 2000s, and that's when this game was made. Um, but yeah, this stuff would be very in trend right now. Um, well, certain elements of it, maybe. <laughs> Heather just anticipating design trends, like, 20 years in the future. She's incredible, man.